So hi everyone, uh, where are we today? We're in the beautiful resort of Vula Denise. So uh, follow me today for a new adventure and let's see what's happening in this beautiful resort in southern Turkey. Okay, so follow me in this direction. So, uh, we're in the knees guys and it's absolutely jumping. I came very early in the morning, didn't realise it was be so busy. And it's very, very busy, right? Listen, so uh, before I start my video today, in this beautiful resort in southern Turkey, uh, I'd like to ask you all, if you've not already done it, please subscribe to my channel. It's appreciated, it really is. Please like it, share it, and most importantly, once you've subscribed, please hit that notification bell, okay? That way you'll get my next video, guys, real, real quick, as soon as it's uploaded, okay? So, anyway, that's that out of the way. Uh, let's crack on, let's have a little wander around Dula Denise. Uh, it's jumping, there's a lot going on, and uh, I'm gonna spend a bit of time here for you guys, all right? So, let's see. Oh, it's really hot, guys. Really, really hot. So, let's have a little wander, shall we? Crystal clear waters. It's another speedboat coming towards me. Isn't it absolutely sublime? Wow, look at this. The beautiful, stunning, magnificent early Denise Beach. 2K. You can see why it was voted one of the top beaches in the world. Absolutely wonderful colours. Look at the turquoise blue waters. Absolutely fantastic. I think we should go down and have a little look, shall we? Yes, we should. Let's go and have a look. I just love this guy, eh? isn't this absolutely beautiful? So you're not going to be dis disappointed if you come to Old Denise. If this is 10 a.m. in the morning and it's all going on, imagine what it's going to be like in the afternoon, uh, let alone the evening when it all kicks off. So this is great. So the boat's ready to leave. Uh, they go around all the islands and it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, to go around the islands, they go to Butterfly Valley, they go to St Nicholas Island with the ruins. Uh, but anyway, the whole setting, I think you'll agree, is absolutely stunning. Look at these Turkish blue waters. So we're just walking over to the boats, guys. Uh, you can see the tourists, they're getting ready to leave. I think they leave around about the 11 o'clock mark. So basically what you can do, you can book through your hotel. Uh, I don't know if it costs you any more money by doing that way. Uh, but you're always probably best to come down on the beach and book directly with the companies. So that if you've got any issues with the boats, like there was on one of the forums lately, and some they booked uh, indirectly through some other agent, and there was no comeback here. Eh? So I would suggest if you're coming down, come down like these people are, get your tickets the night before, come down, and then if you've got any issues, you shouldn't have any issues really. But if you do, you can come directly to the boat themselves and I'm sure they'll rectify your situation. Eh? So there you go. So there's you've got all the pirate boats. 
Uh, now these ones are very, very, very noisy by the way. They have phone parties, they've got DJs. Uh, so if it's no your thing, don't go, okay? Uh, be warned. But if you go to these ones, like Mr. Focus here, and uh, the, the Deep Blue, and there's a few other ones down the other side, all the smaller boats, uh, they're a little bit more relaxed and soft music, and they're just taking you to the islands, and it's absolutely wonderful. Okay, so there you are. So we're on uh, Belchekis Beach, Ula Denise. careful people when you're going on these boats. Today is calm but sometimes it can be treacherous. There's a few families going on. There's a smaller boat still telling you about. These are very pleasant, these ones. All right. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? The Grand Vega and the Deep Blue. Very nice. Deep Blue, Nekadar, Birgun. Deep Blue, Nekadar. Birgun. Yeah. Birgun, you are going to go to the Altaada. Yes. 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 So the bigger one was 600, smaller ones 500. You've got to haggle a wee bit, okay? Don't settle for the first price. But they do a good job anyway, they do a good job. So there's the black pearl there, guys. That's the black pearl there. And uh, we're just going to have a chat with this chap here. Hi, how are you doing? You good? All right, thank you. Hi, uh, nice to meet you, yeah. yeah. I'm Ronnie. Anyway, I'm just, uh, just uh, checking the boats okay. out. Information, yeah. Okay. This is Black Bird, 11 o'clock leaving, 5 o'clock come back every day. Okay. First stop, Butterfly Valley. Mm -hmm. Stay there one hour. Next stop, Camel Beach, Aquarium, San Nicolas, and Cold Water Spring. Total five stop. Each stop stay one hour for swimming time. Also, we have visual performance, pool party on the boat. And lunch menu, chicken, salad, rice, appetizer. Okay. Included lunch, each person. Yes. Each person, 25 pounds. 25 pounds. What is that in Turkish lira? Turkish lira. Do you know roughly? 650 lira. 650 Turkish yes. lira. Okay, guys. So what you're seeing, uh, if you, there was a bit of music in the background there. Uh, Black Pearl, uh, as I said to you earlier, they, they have a phone party, they've got a DJ, uh, real fun by the way, if that's what you're into, and they go around the, to five different locations, they stop off, you have an hour uh, swimming at East Point, and it's 650 Turkish lira or £25. Okay, brilliant, eh? Okay. Great stuff, and you leave at 11 o'clock, yeah? And get back at 5. Yes. Okay, brother, yes. thank you very, very much for the information. I didn't realise there were so many of these. This is a lovely one, eh? very nice. Captain Hannibal. Hello there. Staff are all very, very friendly. The dragon. My God, I, I really didn't realise there were so many. When you get up close, guys. There you go, just when you get up close, you realise. Very impressive, though, you've got to say. So we'll go this one, the dragon. Next to the dragon, we've got the Viking. And the Viking... Very busy. Enjoy your day out guys, enjoy your day out. And as you can see guys at the other end, you've got the Mert one, all the smaller boats, of course cheaper. I have this one, a nice size boat, it's quite full on board. Again, yeah, you go up for the whole day guys, so your, your lunch is included, just take your beach towels and some sun cream, and Bob's your uncle. Bob's everybody's uncle. Eleven o'clock they're leaving people. Eleven o'clock, eh? Okay? 
So this speedboat behind you is yours, yeah? Yes. And you're taking people to the Blue Cave, cave yeah? Yes. Uh, the Blue Cave, you just told me a little story there, people, that people go there to propose marriage. Apparently it's very popular if you want to propose. Okay, so this guy takes people down there. Yeah. Uh, so if you've got that in mind, uh, see this guy. So are you doing it per hour? Yeah. Per hour, three hours. We're uh, oh, okay. the people there. They can uh, stay on the beach there. Okay. Like, there's no umbrella, but still they can hide under the water maybe. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. And, and how much do you charge for one hour? Well, it's uh, changing about the season, you know. Of course. And the uh, uh, economic, you know about the economic. Yeah. Really Jay, listen, so, pardon the interruption. Eh? Just as I start talking to this guy, the dragon boat is just leaving the harbour with his loud music, guys. So, mind I was telling you earlier about the loud music on the boat. So, I can hardly hear myself talk on the beach. Uh, but they're, they're leaving the harbour now, eh? they're leaving the beach now. Eh? Anyway, sorry, pardon, eh, sorry. So it depends on the, 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 the exchange time, rate, the, the time, yes, yes, the time of the month. Easy. Every month different maybe, yeah? Yes. So if I want to go on it now for one hour, how much is it normally for a tourist? Uh, about 1,800 lira. For one hour? Yeah. But that's good, that's good. And how many people do you hold on this boat? Well, I can hold 10 people, which wow. is get the prices can up. Right. Because of 10 people, it's, uh, the price I tell you is about last uh, 4 people. And after 4, we put some more uh, money you. on it because okay. of petrol. Wow, okay. More petrol okay, yeah, I, oh, I understand, yeah, okay. Okay, brother, right, I, I'll come on one day, yeah, I promise, yeah? Okay, thank, thank you. very much. Nice Welcome. to see you again. Nice to see you, nice and to you, see you. Thank you take you care, right? Okay, have a care. great season, okay? Thank you. So guys, I've just came across the sunbed guy. Uh, he's telling me that uh, just come and see this guy if you want one. Hello. Okay, or two, so hi there. Two sunbed, one umbrella, 240 lira. 240 lira. Yeah. He can use Kirk. He can use Kirk. Tele. Tamam, çok teşekkür ederim. Okay, see you later, my friends. Thank you very much. There you go, guys. 240 Turkish lira, two sunbeds and an umbrella. There you go, Bob's your uncle again. Young boys all working in the valley, brilliant, yeah, fantastic. Right there. Let's see what's on the promenade, shall we? So what we have here is all the, the bars on the top, Tiger Beach Bar, um, Amarillo Bar, Bamboo, and then below it you've got all the all the bucket yeah. shops, uh, the Gravity Tandem Paraglider, where you book all your paragliding. Deep Blue's another one and all your excursions as well. Uh, shall we go over and check out some prices? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. We're going to check the prices of the paragliding because every year they keep changing the prices, people, because of inflation. So let's check out this one now, right? Deep Blue, uh, we'll see how much they charge for paragliding, shall we? So let's go and ask. Hi guys, how you doing? Yes sir, you? I'm good, yeah. Let's, I'm a... let's go paragliding. Oh, how much? It's Naked very up. dangerous. Money is not important. <laughs> More important, safe fly, long fly, good fly. If you die, your family if will get good uh, insurance, insurance money. money. Uh, okay, if you're not okay. landing, you're not paid. No problem. So if you don't come back, you don't pay? If you're not landing, you're not paid. Uh, well, that's, no that's good to know. That's reassuring, yeah. One? <laughs> no. no? Nani, nani. Yes, please. <laughs> it's okay, on you go. Yes. They blue paragliding here. So guys, tourists come in on holiday, they want to go paragliding. Yes, of course. How much one person tandem? Hundred dollars right now. Hundred dollars? Yes. Okay, hundred dollars for paragliding. Yes, okay. Yes, it's from two thousand. From two thousand? Yeah, from top. One thousand seven hundred, isn't it? One thousand nine hundred. Oh, you can do up to nine hundred, yeah. Point, okay, yeah. my friend, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Have a nice day, yeah? Have a lovely day. Have a nice season. Thank you. Bye. So that was a deep blue. $100 for your paragliding guys so uh, but anyway if you fancy doing that budget into your holiday wonderful thing to do now this is how you relax uh, look at this this is how you relax I 
told you, the boats leave and the place all quietens down and it gets like this, it gets really tranquil Oh, how, do, how you doing guys? How you doing? You alright? Everything okay? Uh, you're, you're on video by the way How you doing? I'm good, yeah. You have a nice holiday, yeah? Andrew, you're on video also <laughs> Oh, this is wonderful watching these guys coming down. Bravo! Arika! <laughs> Yes, you should check me because I am a best seller from the Ölü Deniz. My name is Tino, uh, Focus Travel, right? Come and find my neck with price, good deal. All excursions, price definitely no bullshit, right? And I want to share my business card. Yes. So guys, we've got a little bit of manic down here, okay? Uh, if you're uh, going to travel from one resort to another, for example, we're in Uli Denise and there's a resort just at the top of the hill, five minutes really, uh, called Hisaranu, and then another one called Olajik, and then there's the town of Feti, which is absolutely stunning. You must get that on your list if you're coming to Uli Denise, okay? Now listen, the best way to travel really is by Dormish, the local bus, okay? So, uh, basically you can pay by cash now. I didn't know that, right? But the guy just told me you can pay by cash, and it's uh, 20 Turkish Lira, okay? to Hisaranu, 20 to Ovajik, and 28 Turkish Lira down to Feti. You do it another way, you can get one of these cards, it's called the Ken card. So if you're in your hotel, you can actually rep on the reception where you get this card, okay? So you buy the card, and you top it up, right? And then you jump on the bus. And it's a hell of a lot cheaper, guys, okay? So that's the best way to travel around Turkey. Jump on the Dolmuş, and it's not too long. It's only five to seven minutes up to Hisaranu and Ovajik, and then it's uh, about 30 minutes, 35 minutes, to Feti, the town of Feti, okay guys, okay. So get your Kent card, I'll show you how you pay it okay on the bus. This is a Dolmush, okay. So you're going to get on the Dolmush, you're going to get your Kent card, this card here, and this machine's on. Now, very, very important, okay. On the front of the bus, it will say, Hisaranu over Jik and Feti, okay. Please state where you're going. If you just jump on that bus and stick your card on, on the machine there, they're going to charge you for the full distance all the way to Feti, even if you're only going up the hill to Hisaranu, okay. So, just sit, jump on the bus, say Hisaranu, get your card, and you just place it right there like that. And it'll beep, and the lights will come on, okay? And then, that, and then just have a seat. Oh, I think I maybe just got charged. I'm not even going on this bus. Damn. Okay, so I've just been charged, right? There you go. 
Uh, so that's it, okay guys? So if you've got any Overjet or Hisaranu, please tell them just as you jump on the bus and you'll be charged just for that journey. Otherwise, you get charged for the full journey to Fethi. All right, so there you go, guys. Uh, best way to travel, right? Have you gone by taxi? Okay, the taxis are right next to the Dolmus buses, okay? And it's 100 Turkish Lira up to Hisaranu. And it's 120 Turkish Lira to Overjet. And it's 270 Turkish Lira directly to Fethi. So if you just want to get there, 270 Turkish Lira between four years, I suppose. It's not a lot of money, yeah, right? But the cheapest way, if you're on a budget, family, you can all just jump on a bus, have a little good speed journey, and it costs you a fraction of that price. Okay, guys, that's where you travel from Ulladenese up to the other resorts. All right. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful guys. I'm having a really lovely walk along the promenade, up the back streets. I don't normally do the back streets in Old Denise, but they're quite nice. Uh, I've lots of nice wee restaurants uh, tucked away, cafes, bars. This is the uh, booze bar. The booze bar is one of the oldest bars in the whole of Denise. And I've been here 23 years, and this was here then. Hi guys. Hi guys. Come on! Yeah. All right, good. <laughs> shall we, uh, on the forums, everybody's asking the prices of everything, okay? So shall we uh, ask if it's okay if we go through their menu and uh, get a few prices, shall we? So yeah, let's go inside the buzz bar and have a little look around. So I've came upstairs in the buzz bar and uh, at night time this is all full and not today of course. This guy's having fun. So guys, this is a view from the booze bar, upstairs, lovely restaurant, good food, I've just given you some prices, very nice and reasonable, and the location is second to none, right on top of the promenade, overlooking the beach, there's another paraglider just come above me there, let's catch them landing, you can just sit here all day, have your lunch, go away, have a shower, come back and then have your main meal later on, sit here all day, why not eh, cocktail day. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Hope you're enjoying this, people, as much as I am. So, guys, all the forums have been scaring everybody about the prices down in Ulla Denise. I'm here now, and yes, the prices in the whole of Turkey have increased dramatically in the last one year. <clears throat> and uh, it's not concern for a lot of locals. But if you're a, a tourist and you're just coming here on a holiday, the prices are very favourable. The exchange rate is very favourable for you as a tourist because one pound is equivalent to 30 Turkish lira. But I just thought I'd come into probably, you know, top location restaurant right on the promenade, right on this beautiful beach and go through the menu. So just going through this menu, cocktails, Everybody's drinking cocktails down here in Ulla Denise and all the cocktails are 265 Turkish Lira. All of them. The, the cocktails are all 265 Turkish Lira and it's uh, actually not too bad for this location anyway, you know, so uh, that's not too bad. The beers, uh, a, a bottle of beer is a 120 Turkish Lira. You'll find that's uh, quite the norm down here. So, uh, FS beer, 120 for a, for a bottle. If it's malt, 120. Beaumonte, very popular drink, 130 Turkish Lira. 
And if you go for your exported drinks like Bud Miller and Corona, uh, 140 for a, 145 for a Bud, 130 for a Miller, and 160 for a Corona. So drinks are not too bad. So if you're uh, not a beer drinker, you're not a cocktail drinker, and you're not a wine drinker, maybe you just like some kind of spirits, okay? So Smirnoff Vodka uh, for a 5CL is 135 Turkish Lira, and for a 10CL, 250 Turkish Lira. Uh, dry Gin, Pink Gin, uh, J&B, uh, Captain Morgan's, all the same price, 135 Turkish Lira for a 5CL, 250 Turkish Lira for a 10CL. So let's go to the food menus. So we'll start off with our breakfast. Full fried breakfast, 190 Turkish Lira. That's actually a great price. You can go up to Feti and you can go to Hisaranu and you can find some places selling it for over 200. So a uh, great price for a full English breakfast, uh, 190 Turkish Lira. Turkish breakfast, it's got everything on it, 180 Turkish Lira. Omelets start at 120 Lira to 160 Lira. That's quite good as well. In Feti, sometimes they're more expensive than that. Pizzas, now if you come with the family, a uh, margarita pizza, 175 Turkish Lira. Work it out, not that bad. Not that bad for number one location. Uh, burgers, right, okay, a favourite for everybody, a burger. 200 Turkish Lira for a beef burger, uh, 235 for a hot chilli burger. So, not too bad, pasta dishes, 240, 285 and 285 for a pasta dish. Guys, I'm not going to go through the whole menu, you know, there's no need to. But guys, I thought I was going to drive you away, giving you some of the prices, but actually, the buzz bar is right on the promenade and it's got great, great prices. Absolutely great prices. I'm quite surprised. So, I'm going to take a wander and take a wander down the promenade again, guys. Let's go for a little wander, shall we? This direction. So, do you know where people are? Where, where I like to go when I'm at Ludenese Beach, yeah? I love it down there. There's a little cove, a little, a, a little area that's tucked away and there's never usually a lot of people there. Eh? You watch, I'll go there now and it'll be packed. Eh? But I'm going to go there now anyway and I'll show you. Okay, so follow me, right? It's my favourite little place on the Udinese. Just get away from the, the hustle and the bustle and everything, okay? A lot going on behind me here eh, with all the parasailing and the boats and the jet skis and speedboats. So, uh, oh, you could have some real fun here, couldn't you? So guys, this is the far end of the Udinese beach, uh, which I think is wonderful. It's uh, stones, by the way, so bear that in mind. But it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, they've got a restaurant here right at the very end. Stairs they've got there as well to the right-hand side. And they've got a beautiful photograph uh, platform up there. Oh, so this is from the steps I was saying, guys. Uh, for me, uh, at the end of the beach, you've got all the best views from here. Uh, how nice is that? Wow, eh? guys, this is from the top of these steps. This is absolutely breathtaking. Isn't it? Let's give you the full view. And this is the very end of the Belchekis beach. Well, you know, people, I think uh, this is probably the best spot to say goodbye, okay? So, uh, Udinese, I've had a great time. It's an incredible resort. Have a look at the prices. You tell me in the comments below if they're uh, comparable with other locations. Please like, 
subscribe to my channel guys and hit that notification bell and you'll catch my next video which is real soon all right so listen i've enjoyed myself i hope it's encouraged you to come here if you've never been here before if you have been here before i may encourage you to come back again all right so the denise 2023 thanks for watching see you all real soon good assurance